it seems like this hasn't been Kim Kardashian's year at all. We don't know what's going on with her, but this has been a pretty embarrassing year for her. Either she's angry because of Kanye or she's spiraling for some other reason. But forget about embarrassment for a second, because this time it looks like Kanye has nothing to do with Kim's misbehavior. Kendall, who is Kim's baby sister, I mean, Kim's like 10 years older than her, and she's now telling Kim to back off from her man. Can you imagine how degrading that must be for Kim? We all know how hard it is to find love when you're a celebrity, but that doesn't mean you should try stealing your baby sister's man, because that makes you look pretty desperate. But it seems like Kim doesn't mind how it makes her look. On the other hand, fans are trying to excuse Kim's behavior on the basis that maybe Kendall and her new boo, Bad Bunny, are just a PR stunt. So maybe that's why Kim is trying to get his attention. But you see, the crazy thing is, Bad Bunny is actually encouraging Kim. So is Kim trying to steal Bad Bunny? Is Bad Bunny also trying to flirt with Kim? And are Bad Bunny and Kendall really together? Well, let's get into it. As we know, Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny are one of the most recently suspected PR couples. And things between them are starting to make less and less sense. The two have been seen together very often these past few months. And according to sources, they're starting to get more and more serious. But their relationship seemed to become official at a Lakers game that they both attended. That clearly didn't stop fans from talking about the authenticity of the relationship. There were a surprising amount of videos and photos of them attending the game. And with every clip fans see, they seem to doubt the relationship more and more. And the fact that Kendall seems to be actively avoiding Bad Bunny didn't help issues. She had him practically chasing her like a lost puppy. And fans noticed that they barely even talked to each other. When the news first got out that Kim was trying to get all cozy and loved up with Bad Bunny, a lot of fans weren't quick to believe it because it seemed quite unreal. I mean, Kim to Kendall? That doesn't make sense. But some weren't shocked because this isn't the first time Kim has done something like this. She did something similar to Courtney because it seems like she just can't stand the fact that her sisters are happy. But let's be real. Kendall's like the one who doesn't really have any personality, and she's full of this weird nepotism vibe. Like, she feels she's not like her sister, but more like her dad. But when people started looking at the videos, Kim was definitely trying to make moves on Bad Bunny. You see, the thing about Kim is that she might not really need Bad Bunny, but she just wanted the attention, the feeling that she's still the most attractive person in the room. So she probably just wanted him to notice her even though he's right there with her sister, which seems pretty low, even for Kim. She went out of her way to get his attention, but Kendall definitely wasn't having it because she snatched her man so quickly. And the only thing she should worry about was the fact that Bad Bunny kind of seemed interested in what Kim was doing. Kendall must have been annoyed, but let's be real. Kim became famous for a sex tape, while Kendall is one of the biggest supermodels in the world. Sure, she had Kanye's help, she never had to go low or spread wide to get to where she is today, but all jokes aside, will Bad Bunny really want to leave one of the biggest supermodels in the world for someone with four kids that has a tape? I mean, no judgment, by the way. Here's the thing with Kim and the kids. Kids don't really stop anything, right? You would find someone who loves you, so that doesn't mean anything. I mean, she's rich. It wouldn't be hard to find someone who would accept her, but the kids are at the stage where they're all emotionally needy. So Kim can't just jump on a plane and disappear for three months on a private island. Sure, Kim has a string of nannies and she has all that help, but she still can't just get up and leave for like three weeks for a lover's retreat. Her kids would definitely start to ask for her, so nannies can't displace the fact that you can't disappear for a long period of time. To some extent, it doesn't seem fair that Kim's the one who has to cut short vacation plans while Kanye is in Japan with his new girlfriend. But that's what Kim wanted, wasn't it? She wanted the kids 85% of the time, so she couldn't just go back on her words and request 50-50 custody. Back to the Bad Bunny and Kim issue, we all know Kim has the kind of body that Bad Bunny might appreciate. 
you know, the curvy Latina type. But unfortunately, she doesn't have the reputation. Maybe Kim still thinks it's a PR relationship, so she's trying to cozy up to Bad Bunny and tell him, you know, I can make this into something real. From the video, we can see that Bad Bunny clearly still wanted to have that conversation that Kim seemed so interested in having with him. The way he was smiling and Kim was looking all flirty, Kendall already saw what was going on, so she grabbed his hand. It was clear that she immediately wanted to get him as far away from Kim as possible because she was struggling to get a hold of him. Kendall's trying to get in between the conversation, but Kim is just completely ignoring her. Kendall is grabbing him so hard, you can see her muscles in the video. She even got hold of his shirt to get him out of there faster. Kim seemed like she had just too much to drink. Because these days, that's all she seems to do, and that's just embarrassing. I mean, she's a mother of four, and she should get a grip on herself. At this point, Kim has an issue. Because what is it with her wanting every man to want her? Even her sister's men need to want her. That's just wrong and even selfish. It seems like Kim planned the whole thing though, because as we all know, Kim doesn't know how to dance to save her life. But it seems like she's been practicing a lot in front of a mirror so she can get Bad Bunny. Kim was clearly dancing to get Bad Bunny's attention, and Bad Bunny couldn't help but look at Kim. Kendall also sees what's going on, and it's obvious that she's mad. Bad Bunny turns around, then goes over and starts dancing with Kim. Bad Bunny must have noticed that Kendall got mad because he goes over and tries to calm her down. But that doesn't stop him from stealing glances at Kim. Kim, on the other hand, notices that she has his attention. So she starts throwing drinks, taking shots, and dancing even more while staring directly at Bad Bunny. Talk about drama and desperation. In the video, Kendall is struggling to keep Bad Bunny's attention, and Bad Bunny is trying to look at both Kendall and Kim. The drama just begs the question, if it's all a publicity stunt, why is Kim hell-bent on getting Bad Bunny's attention? What exactly is wrong with Kim Kardashian? It's like she's finding it difficult to process the fact that her sisters are all in loving relationships except for her. Bad Bunny clearly isn't one Kim Kardashian. I mean, she has four kids and still has a messy divorce that's always on the news. So why would he leave Kendall for Kim? If Kim thinks so, then she must be on another level of delusional. The sad thing is, Kim's sister Kendall is right there. And Kim isn't even trying to dance with her sister. She's not trying to have fun with her own sister. She's not trying to connect with her. Instead, she stands there taking shots and snaps her two fingers at a pathetic attempt at two-step dancing. Whether it's a fake relationship or not, the fact that Bad Bunny would do something like that while Kendall is right there and Kim is allowing it says a lot about the kind of person Kim is. She doesn't care about other people's feelings, including her sisters, as long as she gets what she wants. But tell me what you think and leave them below in the comments.